In our last episode, we discussed the stock market. This week, we'll discuss how it works. Let's get started. Snack on this. How does the stock market work? As we mentioned in our episode before, the stock market provides a relatively safe, secure, and regulated place where participants like companies, teams, and individuals known as market participants can transact in anything involving any type of regulated security that a company or stock market may offer. All of this comes with zero operating risk. That means once you funded your brokerage account, The only real risk in your portfolio are the stocks that you hold in your portfolio. Buying and selling essentially comes at zero risk to you because those trades will be carried out by your intermediary, the broker. Again, don't confuse the risk with the risk of stock ownership. Every stock that you have in your portfolio will come with some risk, but where everything is risk-free is the transactions between the broker and the exchange that get you that stock in the first place. Those are the zero risk transactions that we're talking about here. In this essence, the stock market acts as both the primary and the secondary market. More on this in a second. If you find our lessons helpful, please take a moment to smash that thumbs up and press the subscribe button so we can get this channel out to more folks that may need help with investments. We mentioned IPOs or initial public offerings before in one of our prior videos. This means that companies are able to sell their shares for the very first time on an open exchange so that investors, buyers, and sellers are able to transact on that stock within that stock exchange. This transaction is what lets the stock market act as the primary exchange. It lets companies go on their exchanges through an initial public offering, offer their stock for investors to then buy into so they can raise capital, and then those move down into the secondary market. We'll get into the secondary market in a second here. The primary market function that the stock market operates in and the exchanges and the exchanges under it operate in act as a facilitator for this capital raising of the IPOs for the companies. This entire process allows the stock market and the exchanges to charge a fee to the company that's doing the IPO. That's where the stock market gets its revenue from. That's where the exchanges get their revenue from. None of these services are free. All these things come with a price. So the company, for example, if Uber decided to go public, well, it's public, but when Uber decided to go public, they paid a fee to list their stock on the exchange, on the primary market where they offered their IPO. After the stock is issued for the first time after its IPO, this is where that secondary market function comes into play. The secondary market is where investors like me and you can buy and sell the stock, its securities, underlying assets, whatever. That's where, that's where regular investors can regularly buy and sell the stock, transacting in the stock. This is where the stock market acts as a secondary market. Stock exchanges bear the responsibility of price transparency, liquidity, which means that making sure that Once you put it in order, it will execute at that price or at a price above or below, providing you sort of that liquidity to go in and out of a stock as frequently as you choose, pending account limits, price discovery, and fair dealings. The exchange manages buy and sell orders from various market participants like you. Stock exchanges in this scenario also manage all of the company's news, filings, and reports that they come out for news on how that company is doing financially. And a lot of these are available via their SEC reports on their websites, SEC standing for Security Exchange Commission Reports. 
This is where you'll find all of the company's financials, balance sheet information, if the company is public. It'll give you the entire synopsis of what the company is and how they're doing for you to make an informed decision on what you think the company looks like in the future based on how they've performed in the past. In summary, the stock market consists of stock exchanges. These stock market exchanges act as primary and secondary markets. The primary market function in this case is letting a company raise funds initially through an IPO. The secondary market function is the buying and selling of regular stock orders that mean you typically take part in. Oh, and all of this happens absolutely simultaneously. So you won't even know that another person is buying your stock because it happens so quickly. That's the beauty. Our ask to you now is look at a few exchanges that sound appetizing. Look at a few brokerages that we've mentioned in our prior videos before that appeal to you and sort of give you what you need out of your broker. We'd recommend TD Ameritrade in this case or Schwab. Take a look at a few of the exchanges like the S&P 500 NASDAQ. Stay tuned for our next lesson and keep investing.